morning guys and happy Monday. It's Monday. I am super like energized and refreshed because I had a very slow weekend. No parties, no drinking, no going out. Just really chilled and took care of myself. So I feel pretty amazing today, which is good because I have a very, very long day today. I have a photo shoot next week for two days. And today what we're doing is I am meeting up with the brand to do the fittings for the shoot. So it's trying on the looks that will be shot that day. But the fun fact about it is that today, for some reason, the fitting is being done in a other place in Paris because I guess the clothing are there for maybe another shoot or something like that. So I have a chauffeur picking me up. We are driving, we're going on a road trip, <laughs> literally, because we are driving, I think an hour and a half out of Paris. I'm not sure I'll be able to film much because it's written on the call sheet. The call sheet is this paper that you receive the day before your fitting or your job that kind of gives the list of all the people that'll be there and the contacts and all that. And then your pickup time on the call sheet, it's written closed set, which means no social media, no pictures and things like that. I just got out of the shower, I'm getting ready and I'm gonna do my skincare morning routine with you guys. I feel like we haven't done this in a while and I got some new products, so this is, this is happening. I was supposed to vlog last week when I was at my sister's house, but I started and then things got into the way and then the vlog went to the poubelle, <laughs> to the trash, so, Sorry for telling you guys there was gonna be a vlog and then there was no vlog. Sorry for disappointing you. The reason why I was at my sister's house last week is because we were remodeling this bathroom and the little toilet we have. And yes, the nothing changed because we just redid the whole paint because back in December we had a leak that literally effed up the whole bathroom and toilet that's right under. Our neighbor had a pipe explode and it literally just leaked all over my apartment and so we had to redo all of the paint and everything which was a little bit nerve-wracking because we had already remodeled the bathroom a year ago because of a leak so you know we're gonna start the skincare routine i love now i am a huge fan i cannot go without starting with a toner so in the morning i don't cleanse my face i just put some very fresh cold water and then i go in with a toner so as you know i usually love 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 this as you can see the ginseng water by beauty of Drusillon. been using this for months and i love it it's a staple and just having a toner in my routine is a staple it just brings so much hydration and glow and it just tones down my fine lines i mean i this made me realize how dehydrated my skin was so now i cannot go without a toner and to switch things up i purchased recently the haru haru wonder toner it's the black rice hyaluronic toner i got this brand because i have their cleansing oil that i absolutely love so i was like i need to try this and i think it's kind of fun to switch things up because this one is really a essence water, ginseng essence water, and this one's hyaluronic acid toner. I thought to bring some extra hydration, which I need today, is perfect. As you know, I love to do several layers of toner. I usually go for two to three to really pack the hydration in. One thing I need to talk about is this leak. So the way it happened, is that I left for work that day at around 8 a.m. and I was supposed to go come back home at around 8 p.m., right? For some reason at that day, um, the modeling job, they were like, you know, you can go and take a lunch break because there's gonna be about two or three hours of break. And I thought, oh, perfect. I'm just gonna go home so I can have lunch there, chill, work a little, perfect. I get home around, you know, noon and I hear this noise of water, like water cascading down and I'm like, what the F? You open the door and I go into the little bathroom that I have next to my entrance. And I'm gonna put the video here because <laughs> it was mad that there was so much water coming out of the sink. And within 15 minutes, I had literally filled up so many buckets of water that I thought to myself, oh my God, if I hadn't come back at noon, which wasn't planned, there would have been water everywhere in the apartment, everywhere in the beautiful wood floors that we have. So where I'm going with this, in my mind, I'm like, where am I going with this? 
before I carry on, um, I'm now doing this new vitamin C by Jumiso. Very happy to include vitamin C. I usually do. I haven't bought one in a long time, but I saw that this one was kind of a Korean's favorite, so I purchased it. And I really love doing a little vitamin C because it brightens up your complexion. It works your hyperpigmentation. It works on your fine line. It protects your collagen. So it's a really good step to have. You can do this in the morning. It's not like retinol that you do on the night. You can do vitamin C in the morning. This one sinks into your skin in a second. Where I wanted to go with the story, sorry, I'm being very much into the suspense, is that you know how my philosophy of life, <laughs> I would say, bad things are gonna happen. We can't go through life thinking nothing's gonna happen, right? But we always have to look kind of the bright side. You always have to believe that the universe has your back. That day was an example of how the universe had my back because for some reason, and it wasn't planned, this job told me you can go back home to lunch. If I hadn't been home for lunch and I would have come back at 8 p.m., my apartment would have been entirely soaked and nobody would have seen it. And the worst part is that my neighbor upstairs where his pipe leaked, he doesn't live upstairs all the time. So he wasn't there. So he didn't see that the pipe exploded. It was like, this is bad. This is annoying. We're going to have to remodel everything that's actually already new, but it would have been worse. So the universe really had my back that day. And it really brings me a lot of comfort when I have that in mind to go through life thinking the universe has my back. So if you needed a little, <laughs> a little bit of reassurance today, here it is. Now we're doing moisturizer. We're doing the bar moisturizer, which I've been using since August. And I love, 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 love. It's a very simple moisturizer, but super hydrating. Most of all, it kind of dries matte. So it works perfectly under makeup. And I love that. <laughs> to finish SPF, I am finishing up with this one and I'll try new ones. I feel like for you guys, I need to try new stuff, right? But I've really enjoyed this one. It's the Aqua Glow Sun Serum. I now am always going to purchase sun serums or there's no point of wearing SPF. This makes you want to wear SPF because it's so light and easy to put on. Look at this. When I put this on my skin, it disappears completely, which is so rare for, look, there is no white cast and it just sinks into the skin in a second. I love it. I am so excited to spend this week with you guys. This is going to be fun. My dad is actually here in Paris, so you'll get a little bit of my father into this vlog. I need to get ready. I need to get out of here. Let's keep this day going together. guys i'm getting ready to go to the bank i have an appointment and before going i am gonna make myself a little collagen matcha i now don't drink coffee in the afternoon anymore but i do like to have i don't know i think it's kind of that habit i like to have a warm beverage in the afternoon and when i'm home i do this collagen matcha drink it is from oh it's from the same brand as my hair supplement I have here their collagen matcha glow what i love about this is that there's also vitamin c so you're getting collagen vitamin c matcha what can we ask for more i love putting things in my body that feels good for my body i love matcha lattes but i honestly don't think i'm good at making them so i keep that for my little coffee shop run um, like this, I have something to look forward to. You know what I mean? So at home, I just make it with water. I love matcha only with water. Okay, fun fact. One day I go to Starbucks. I was there and I say, can I have a matcha, but no milk, just matcha and water. And they're like, what, what is that? I said, well, just matcha and water. That's how they drink it in Japan. It's nothing crazy. The matcha latte trend is like something else. But the way you, you were supposed to drink matcha originally is just with water. And he was so 
like confused. So he served it to me and he was like, is it good? Is it okay? I said, yeah, it's just matcha water. So I personally love drinking matcha with water. Put one teaspoon. I put just a little bit of water in the bottom. Just use this. I top it off with a little bit more of hot water. One of the things that people asked me, and recently it was actually Lisa's boyfriend, he was like, but this, this work. To me, you can never do like supplements and collagen and all that and just think, oh, I'm going to have an overnight kind of result. I think it's just really to prevent fine lines, to promote healthy, hydrated skin. You have vitamin C, which is so good for you. Matcha is really good for you as it's an antioxidant. So it's like, it's not something that's going to make you look 10 years younger overnight, but it's going to just prevent fine lines, hydrate your skin from within, promote, you know, collagen production, which we all want. Um, and that's it. And I'm like, might, if I'm going to drink matcha, might as well have a little bit of something in it you know, that's helping us, keeping us uh, healthy, first of all, and uh, glowy. Love that. On top of it, matcha here. Okay, we're going to the bank, so we need to look responsible today. I'm starting with a simple base. Black tank top from Mango. I know a lot of people ask me, where are these tank top? I buy this one at Mango. They still have it. I'll link it down below. Then I have these long jeans because I'll be wearing heel boots it is a little chilly today in paris so i'm gonna add a turtleneck this is from kus what i love about it is that it's a little bit transparent so i find that very chic and it's thin and you can really work with the transparency so it's like a turtleneck that you can really take from day to night in that way you can everything like this i think or am i tucking in i don't know yet we'll see we'll see adding my Givenchy black silk shirt we're doing shoes i got these new tony bianco shoes tony bianco is an australian brand that i've purchased before several times i think they do really have a beautiful selection of styles that feel very high-end um quality is very good but prices are not crazy which to me is a little bit important because i love to invest in beautiful you know luxury shoes and things like that but the reality of life is that shoes get worn and tired and all that and i do like to have a few pair of shoes that i'm not emotionally attached to <laughs> you see what i mean that i can run around in paris there's holes everywhere in, this, in the floor with this little pavé as we call them you know it's beautiful but it ruins high heels a pointy toe and then this heel is beautiful it's a 10 and the leather is very thick and it's a super quality and i really like the shape of the heel like it's a perfect i'm a shoes psychopath um to me shoes are beautiful when proportions are done right and here the proportions are perfect it's not too much of a long toe but it still is a little bit to give that kind of modern cool girl look um the shaft is tight but not too tight i mean the whole thing is really really beautifully made i like that there is this cut over here in the leather i just think it's it just makes it very beautiful okay here they are da -da. see perfect now what should i do i don't know if i do like a black blazer but i feel like a green cocky blazer which is bring some light will go with this kind of spring vibes yeah i like that i like to cut a little bit the blackout this i like this i like this i like oh we need sunnies because it's all of a sudden super sunny and nice what should we do what should we do guys should we... so i have two options we can go for very classic aviators these ones are for chanel i bought them years ago i feel like they are a responsible girl kind of sunglasses or we have these ones that i love these ones are available guys so if you like them these ones are so gorgeous they're the dixie from the brand velia eyewear i wear them all the time whenever i want to kind of make my look a little bit cooler and they go so well with this green jacket but for today we're doing responsible we're mm. okay Dun -dun -dun. we're doing this and my my forever love the ysl Final look, the blazer, bag, the jeans, and 
Oop, the boots. Look how gorgeous are these boots, guys. I love them. Oop, the bag. And there you have it. Let's go to the appointment, guys. I'm back. It's nighttime. I did my appointment at the bank. We're now going to dinner with... The father. The father. We are in a mood for some Japanese food and he loves ramen. And recently I went to this restaurant called Sanjo, which is in the first arrondissement of Paris, which is one of the places in Paris where you have a lot of Japanese restaurants. And I was extremely impressed with the quality of the food. My dad is pretty picky because he lived for how many years in Japan? 12 years. So if he says that the ramen is good, then the ramen is... Oishi. Oishi Which means good, right? Good. Oishi. Then I forgot, I need to tell you guys. So my dad was on a little boy's trip uh, ski boys trip last week and every morning my dad loves to listen to Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift and so when he was on his boys trip every morning at breakfast he apparently played Taylor Swift his friend today texted him saying hey can you let me know what was the girl who was the lady that was singing in the morning because apparently he misses her songs <laughs> it's true it's true it's true so he's now Come on, peut dire. You're now all fan of Taylor Swift. We what? are Swifty. You guys are all Swifty. We are. All so Swifty. they're on in their 60s and they're all Swifties now. You're a Swifty influencer. You're literally a Swifty influencer. You deserve a for senior. For senior. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve a Taylor Swift <laughs> concert ticket. I do. Yes, please. Oui. I didn't make any reservations, so I hope that we'll have a spot. He has the lucky guy syndrome, so using it tonight. Dinner. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Freezing. Freezing. Alors, Papa, did you like it? Yes, that was a very good Japanese restaurant. Honestly, uh, one of the best I eat in Paris. See? Si? Thumbs up. The name is Sanjo, and they are very <laughs> nice. They are very nice. We spoke, very well, nice. he spoke Japanese all night. She was very happy about it. The food is really delicious and very uh, refined. It's a refined Japanese restaurant. <laughs> and now we're gonna have drinks in a place that's hidden, Papa. Caché. Oh. T'es prêt ou pas? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a night out. Surprise. Surprise. Tu me suis? T'es prêt ou t'es pas prêt, Papa? C'est là, Papa. Hein? Bonsoir. It's called the rehab outfit check. Bon, on fait quoi avec le pied? Let's go to Pilates, guys. I'm wearing a new Adenola set that I'll show you at the studio. Blinded by the sunshine. Nothing better than a sunny Sunday. We lost an hour this night. 
which I could feel when I woke up this morning. But you know what it means? It means summer is coming. It means long summer days where the sun sets late at night and the days feel super long. So I'm super excited. Um, it's been raining all week and today for some reason it's a beautiful day. We're going to a new Pilates studio called Core. It's a reformer Pilates, so I'm super excited to try it because, you know, I just love trying new places and because I've just been trying to find a new Pilates studio where I'd say the classes are a little bit more intense. So I'll update you guys on that. What else? One, the studio is really beautiful. Two, I'm going and meeting up with a friend and when you book your class, you can actually book the spot um, in the class. So she was like, I booked spot number nine. And I said, okay, I'm booking spot number 10. So that's really cool. You don't have to like rush in to make sure you're, you know, sitting next to your friend while well, doing the class next to your friend. So very nice. Oh, I'm a little bit out of breath. I was a little late and, but I'm making it. Look at this guys, oh, sunny, sunny Paris. Oh. So nice. Second thing, uh, I finished a book. I finished a book. So the book is called The Mountain Is You. And a lot of people spoke about it. That's why I read it. A lot of people said it's life changing and all of that. I had a hard time to get into it because as you know, I've done a lot of therapy and it felt like it was a lot of concepts that I had already worked on and knew about because I had worked them in therapy. But I pushed through because I was like, I need to finish it just to know, you know, if I really like it and to let you guys know if you should read it. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it in the end. Once I got into it, um, there was some incredible quotes, incredible moments um, that were very enlightening, I would say, in the book that I really, really enjoyed. So the book is about self-sabotage which is honestly a very, very interesting topic to get into in life because I think we all have a form of self-sabotage. What she says is, you know, self-sabotage is not something you do to hurt you. It's something you do to actually protect yourself because what happens is that even if something is not good for you, it's familiar. So it's your comfort zone. So you're going to stay in that zone and anything that's not familiar to you is going to take time to um, get familiar with and to do so you have to do micro shifts which always come back to like that book atomic habits nothing happens in a breakthrough everything is in micro shifts and the whole book is about that and I thought uh, it's very good it's amazing concepts it's a lot of things that you would work in therapy so if you've never done therapy it's a great way to start um, if you don't have access to therapy because therapy is quite pricey it's a great book to just give you some tools for self-understanding um yeah so we are arriving at the studio let's go okay arriving at core as you can see look how gorgeous this place is wow Guys, I got changed. I'm heading out to my sister's for a little family Sunday roast, but I wanted to update you guys on the class. <sighs> It was so good. It was everything I dreamed of, of a Pilates reformer in Paris. The class was intense, was good. You got the shakes, you got the stretching, you got everything in. The place is so pretty. The teacher was amazing and the playlist was good. So it's like a 
10 out of 10 for me. Um, I'll be going back there for sure. So I highly recommend, they just opened actually one month ago. So it's very new. So if you're in Paris, this is exactly where you have to go. If you want to sculpt your body, because that's what we're here for. I'm going to leave you and enjoy my Sunday and uh, close this vlog. I wish you all a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.